YouTube. Uh, this your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. I was cooking something else, and if uh, you look at the video I posted just before this, you'll know what that is. Alright, hint, hint. Reason for you to check out my other videos. But anyway, I took some leftover uh, ground beef I had, and I decided that uh, I'm messing around in the kitchen, and uh, I decided I'm going to stuff an onion. And if you ever seen one of those, I don't know if I've I've ever seen this. Just me messing around. So if somebody's already did it, shout out to them. I'm not trying to take the credit for something like that. Um, I'm going to try a stuffed onion today. What I had left over from my previous cook on the video right before this. Just before this. So feel free to go watch that one if you wonder what I mixed in it. Uh, I'll tell you as I when I go in the kitchen and start to uh, formulate it. Uh, formulate it. Listen to me. Create my new concoction. I put it like that. And then go from there. So. Follow your boy in the kitchen. It's Mr. Beef from Backyard Barbecue, and let's get to it. Peace. What's up, YouTube? Um, I don't know if you saw my other video called, uh, what was it called? Rice Can Beer. No, Rice Can Cheeseburger. Rice Can che Cheeseburger. Look that one up on YouTube, right? You'll see the ingredients I got, right? On that one. But that one little patty I had left over from that video, I decided I'm not going to just throw it on the grill and just make it a patty and eat it. I'm going to try something different with it, right? I was already chopping up onions, and I was able to get this onion to fit without breaking it up totally. So I'm going to do an a onion bomb. That's what I'm going to call it, onion bomb, a stuffed onion bomb. And all I'm going to do is just take this, take my cheese, um, this little craft cheese or whatever, and mix it all up real quick in here. Uh, sorry, I got the McCormick's on there. Uh, so you again, hamburger flavor McCormick grill mates, and just go stick it inside this onion and put it on the grill. I'm gonna actually take some uh bacon and wrap it around the outside of this too. You know what I mean? Stick a toothpick in it to hold the bacon together as it cook and see what it come out like, man. We always about trying some new stuff, man. You got an idea? Shoot me a text. Oh, shoot me a text. Shoot me an email. Comment below. And uh, I might just come with it. Somebody asked me to do a beer can burger. So that's why I came up with the rice can. What was it? Rice can cheeseburger. Right? So stick with me. We're going to make this happen and see how it turn out. Let me know what you think. Hi, right, YouTube. Hey, man. Don't laugh at me. Uh, Look at this thing, man. I don't know what the hell it's called. Call it porcupine. It's actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, nine, nine toothpicks in it. So I'm using up all my toothpicks to hold this damn bacon together. And this is not your regular bacon. This turkey bacon um, probably going to taste nasty. But I'm just trying something. Just pull something out of the refrigerator. Hey, that's what we do, man. Just cook what we got because we like to fire up the grill. So stick with me. Like I said, I took the burger with the uh, McCormick's in it, the bell pepper onion. It's on the inside of it. Um... I'm going to put this in the freezer for a little bit so it can firm up while my grill is uh, coming to temp. And then we're going to throw it on there, shoot a couple video, videos on it so you can see how it looks. And then uh, hopefully it turned out pretty good and I can pull these uh, toothpicks out and taste it. Looks like it might actually be alright. That's a lot of onion too. But anyway, we're going to see. Be back in a minute at the grill. What it do, YouTube? We back. Got my little... Turkey, bacon, onion, explosion, whatever. Got about to throw it on, on this grill or whatever. Grill's good and hot, about 500 degrees. We're gonna throw it on here and let it sit for about, I don't know, an hour maybe. I'm putting it offset from the uh, charcoal itself and then let it do what it do. So we'll be back. Hopefully it's done by the end. The uh, turkey should be good and brown, sitting off to the side and then. Uh, Hopefully we're ready to, uh, to tear into So we'll be back in about an hour, y'all. What's up, everybody? We're back. About to show y'all this wonderful uh, onion from bacon. Uh, come get a close-up of it. Show them what it looked like. This is what it looked like. The turkey is real charred. That's what you want. It looks like it's pretty much done. I'm going to take it in the house. And I'm going to cut it open. I'm just going to cut it directly down the center. Let it cool off. Cut it directly down the center so you can see the inside of it. All right. Be back in a minute. All right, YouTube. We're back in the house. And here's my uh, 
<laughs> he don't even know what you call this. Hey, we're gonna pull these toothpicks out real quick. You can hit this. I don't know if you can hit that, but you can see the turkey as uh, the bacon. Hey, you remember course. when you talked about my mama turkey? <laughs> hey, shut up, man. <laughs> hey, man. This turkey bacon, turkey don't. Y'all, y'all, y'all hear my white man talking noise? Cause I was talking about her mama uh, when I cooked my turkey. If you want to see something funny, man? Go to the video. I was talking about her mama cooking a turkey for Thanksgiving, man. Straight to Then you'll... Hey, man. This is my video. All right, so I'm going to try to cut this in half, man. So bear with me. I don't even know how this going. How this going. Probably ain't a good idea. Ugh. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, oh, man. hell no. What is that? That's onion. Alright, so let's do this, y'all. Move this damn bacon. Let's see the inside. I'm going to taste it. Actually, without your damn bacon, it tastes alright. I don't even like it. You can't like that. eat the bacon. <laughs> 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 hey man, you gotta put a bacon on the side, y'all. Anyway, now you know how to stuff a mushroom. Don't use bacon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bacon tastes pretty good, though. And you'll be alright. Let me start chewing for a minute. Alright, this is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, Subscribe. And Tell don't burn the bacon. Hey man, shut up. Leave my video. And like I said, before I end this, remember this backyard barbecue, right? Ain't nothing perfect about what we do. If you if you want to see something funny, check out my cabbage video. My cabbage steaks. I drop the cabbage on the ground. You know what I'm saying? That's that what we do. We mess up sometimes. Hey man, I just put everything on it. I ain't editing this and trying to make this perfect and make myself seem like I'm not the average cat at home. Hey, bacon good. I can't help it, y'all. So, word to the wise, cook your bacon on the side. Then you can do the uh, uh, onion. Or you can even put it on there, man. It just, it seals it together, as you can see. You see the onion? Let me give you a good look at it. That's the inside of it. It's a burger with onion. And everything on it. It's still good. I just taste pretty good. And like I said, I'm not a fan of onion like that, but this is pretty good. So, there you go. Try it. Hey, man, send me a video. If you got something, show me your product, man. Hell, I'm going to try to redo this one and make it better. So send me your video, man. Or send me your final product so I can say, hmm, that's what I messed up at. Anyway, this is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Chewing on some turkey. Some burnt turkey. <laughs> that wouldn't stay on my onion. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I'll let your boy.